This is a screencast of how to use the uncertainty calculator. Suppose we have a circle with a radius 2.5 plus or minus 0.1 centimeters, and we want to calculate the diameter the, and the area with their uncertainties. And we may even like to calculate the volume of a sphere with that radius as well, with its uncertainty. We can use the uncertainty calculator for each of these. So the diameter, 2 times the radius. Well, we have an operator to multiply numbers. So, like a normal calculator, we can put 2 here. The 2 has no uncertainty, so we want to give it an uncertainty of 0. The radius of 2.5 has an uncertainty of 0 0.1, so we want to put that in. So when we multiply these, then in Z we get 5 plus or minus 0.2, which is the diameter. FZ and FDZ give us correctly formatted values for the result and its uncertainty, and that will show up more later. So we can now type this value in as 5.0 plus or minus 0 0.2 centimeters. So now for the area, we want pi times the radius squared. So to get the radius squared, we already have the radius in y. We could put the radius in x and multiply x times y to get the radius squared. But we could also use this function. We have a function to square things, just like on your calculator. Now it squares what's in the x register. Well, down here we have a button that switches the x register and the y register around. So now we have x, we have the radius in the x register, so now we can square it. So we get the value in z is 6.25 plus or minus 0.5. So that's r squared. We'd like to use that later, so we can put that in memory. So now we have 6.25 plus or minus, minus 0.5 in memory. So now we need the value of pi. You notice there isn't any button anywhere for pi. But we do have these buttons for converting function between radians and degrees. Remember that 180 degrees is pi radians. So we can put 180 in there with no uncertainty. And if we convert that to radians, that gives us the value for pi. So now the result here in z is pi. So we can move that to the x register. So now we've got pi in the x register. We have r squared in memory, so we can move memory to the y register. So now we have pi here, r squared here. So if we multiply, then our result is pi times r squared, 19.63 plus or minus 1.57, or correctly formatted, 20 plus or minus 0.2. 20 plus or minus 2, sorry, centimeters. And it'll be centimeters squared, since it's a radius, since it's an area. Now finally, if we want the volume, we want 4 thirds pi r cubed. So we already have pi here, so we'd like to multiply it by 4 thirds. So let's put in 4 here, again with no uncertainty. And so we can multiply those. So that's 4 pi. Let's move that to the x register right away. And we want to divide that by 3 with no uncertainty. So now this result is 4 thirds times pi. So let's save that in memory. So now in memory we have 4 thirds pi. So for r cubed, now we don't have a cubed function, but we have an exponentiation function. So we can put the value of r here, 2.5 plus or minus 0 0.1 we can raise it to the third power. So now the result here is r cubed in z. So remember 4 thirds pi is in memory, r cubed is in z. So if we move the z to the y register, this is r cubed. And if we move memory to the x register, this is 4 thirds pi. So we have 4 thirds pi times r cubed. So when we multiply those, we get 65.44 plus or minus 7.8, or 65 plus or minus 8. So now, we do this here. Let's move this up a bit. So 65 plus or minus 8 centimeters cubed.